Going to have a look around the Bavaria C46. This boat is launched and then having its premiere for this year, 2024. It won European Yacht of the Year. We're going to have a look. Starting aft at the transom, have a huge bathing platform. Pretty typical with the DNA. Easy drop down, as you can see, either sides, and you can have it functioning electrically at the helm if you wish. Connections for your bathing ladder. And then there is an area in here for life raft and other bits and pieces. Pretty standard stuff. Something that's quite nice, they've added a step here to get up on. Just as you step up aft, we get this open all the way. Access in from your cockpit when your bathing ladder or platform and so on is up. You have access to your steering, other bits and pieces, you know. Pretty explanatory. There's a lot of room in there, you know, space for your paddle boards and other bits and pieces. I will have a look to see if there's actually an option to have a tender garage or not. I think you're, you know, 46 foot, you're at that size. So underneath the starboard helm, there's a really nice option for a grill. You don't have to have it. You can have a, a small lazarette there if you wish. And your shore water connection there. It's when you're at the pontoon or whatever. You don't have to use your water in the tanks. Fill it up and then step up. And on the port side, once again, it's an option. You have a cool box fridge, which is pretty good. Somewhere nice to keep those beers. Something Bavaria did, which I think was really nice when they brought out the sea line a few years ago. They actually gave you a really comfortable seating area at the helm aft. I'll give you an idea. I mean, you'll seat two to three people here comfortably. When you're at the helm, I'll give you an idea of your view forward and across the cockpit. Pretty good. Carbon nautical wheels, Jeffa steering. So you know that, you know, you're going to have plenty of feel on the steering. As we're here on the port helm, we'll start here. Shore power connection. So you'll have, you know, mains and air conditioning. If you have air conditioning, you'll also notice that there's a security clip on board port for a harness or whatever, your safety lines. And there is a section here to put your tear lens. And if you have a look, it'll actually lift up. So you've got your winches here, tear lens in here, self-draining, and then just behind you have a gas locker. So everything's neat in one little spot. And something which we'll all agree, which is very, very important, somebody, somewhere to put your cup of tea or coffee. As per usual, by each helm, you have a little kickboard, you know, stand-up board. When you're on the hill, you know, makes life more comfortable. It'll stop you slipping all over the place. And then in between both helms, you have access to your emergency steering. As you can see, it's not functioning at the moment. They've pulled it apart for whatever reason. You have access to your steering quadrant. Something that's pretty cool, it is well away from salt water. So they have dealt with that issue from the 50s. Okay, starting with the port helm. It's an option to have electric winches if you wish. Uh, at least if you can have one electric and the other manual. These are Lumar 50 self-tailing. This one's electric. And you have another just forward Lumar 50 self-tailing. And you'll see you have a bank of clutches. So depending on how you set it up, because there'll be another bank on the port so on the starboard side, sorry. You know, reefing lines, halyards, main sheet, etc. BG autopilot repeater, fusion stereo. I'd actually prefer to have my autopilot up here, but it's your choice, you know, when you're optioning out your boat, 
It's down to how you configure it. And then there is a b and Zeus 15 inch chart plotter, you know, mobile charger, somewhere to hold your mobile, which is quite good. And if you happen to have Navionics or something else, you can just pop it on here. Some nice grab handles, starboard helm, compass, bow thruster. I'm sure there's an option to have a stern thruster as well. You're starting to Bow thruster definitely at 46 foot if you can, and you're starting to get to that length where, you know, you want life to be easier at a stern thruster if you want that option. Once again, b and Zeus 15 inch chart plotter. You have your engine electric throttle controls and your start stop and then repeated down this side which is nice your bng wind instruments your yamaha engine counter and a second autopilot once again you have one electric winch lumar 50 self tailing same again and then your other bank of clutches i think it's really good that they're listening to their customers and you have somewhere for a cup of tea or a coffee instead of those silly little ones that they have for coke bottles or those little bottles of water behind me as your attachment point for your backstays they're adjustable backstays but we're indoors so can't see it and then cleats standard midships and you'll see one forward in a minute if it was my choice always pay we always say this always pay for a second cleat aft and a second one midships if you can it's a good option good practice especially for those spring lines really nice non-slip on the deck and i should imagine you'll see that the cockpit's obviously been optioned out in teak and it's usual with bavaria you can have your forward sections opted out in teak and if you want your side decks or flexi teak it's nice to have the option or keep it simple with non-slip really nice high tow rails and your spray hood forward you've actually got a nice area fold your spray hood into and as you can see it comes with a cover so you can hide it all away really nicely done and then just forward of that so as we've done on every one of these tours so you have your spray hood there'll be a handle on the side there'll be a handle forward and you've got grab handles along here so safety's you know pretty good it'd be nice to be out on one underway and then both port and starboard you have access to a marina you know or a wharf outboard shrouds I'm seldom mast so we haven't got a full mast because we're indoors but it's be rocking seldom mast and boom you can have in furling mainsail or slab reefing it would be german main sheet system one thing i do like which they've done is they've added these um, skylights up on in your saloon ceiling and forward and aft facing hatches so no matter how the wind's going you're always going to get a draft through the boat it's really really cool and you'll see when we're inside actually how much light that lets in self-tacking jib real estate for a sun pad here or you know solar panels if you wish non-slip solar panels or you know if you're going on a passage you can rock your tender up on there and then we'll come forward so the hatch is open at the moment so anchor windlass one thing that is really nice is this seat forward dolphin seat push pit and a huge more more manufacturers are doing this and i actually quite like it there's a really big bow sprit and i mean not in length but i mean at width have yourself tacker and then there's room for code zero code d jenica and a spinnaker forward and access to your bow roller and your anchor is underneath and then just behind this actually comes off so you can iron unclip it if you want. There's actually plenty of storage. So they've doubled up. You have a shelving unit in here. I'm not going to get down there. So you have a shelving unit doubled up. There's a, a ladder there. So there's plenty of room. So you can have a spare sail, fenders, your mooring lines. You know, you can plonk a lot of your kit 
in there out the way as you can see flush hatches to we'll give you a look aft it's a very very beamy boat and as you can see they actually carry that beam pretty much all the way aft which is one of the things that is going to give you the volume inside and i think that's that's what we're going to look at they've split the cockpit tables some people like it some people don't i like it there's two very very practical reasons for it one you have really clean access all the way through in case you need to come through for an emergency or you're carrying something two actually gives you a larger entertaining space you know you can fit more people around there but three if you can guess it let me know in the comments below you imagine having such a wide cockpit and you've got a cockpit table in the middle and you're on a hill the fact that you've got to be seven foot tall to be able to block you know stop yourself from going over brace yourself that's what i'm looking for if you got if your cockpit table is in the middle with splitting the cockpit table so having one on each side it gives for us shorties we have somewhere to brace ourselves there is an option to have one side of your cockpit table drop down so if you want a sunbed you can and as you can see over here on the port side so down in here you've actually got a light that pops up it's really quite nice drink holders and then both ports i'm not going to open them up because it's going to be a pain in the bum um, you have some lockers they're pretty big and then on both tables you've got some sections and you've got a grab handle coming forward it's pretty normal stuff doors washboard doors by the side very simple we'll have a look we'll see these inside but you have hatches up above for ventilation you'd have your spray hood up for shade and so on you get plenty of air through the boat and then just above the companion way you have your B&G repeaters five steps to get all the way down and give you a pan out it's a in theory it's a linear galley but it's a <laughs> it's a u-shaped linear galley so you know don't get your knickers in a twist there are other options for the interior um, but this boat is just huge absolutely huge and i reckon there's more space in here than there is or it looks like there's more space in here than the hands 460 so and being that the Preveria Sea they started adding more volume to their boats beforehand so they've pretty much tipped the market there right we're going to start on the port side so port aft you have a very large double cabin ventilation another opening hatch and then there's that hatch up in the cockpit that'll be under your spray hood so this will give you an idea this is your walkway down the side of the boat that lazarette locker pretty much fills that spot and about half the way back so it gives you an idea of how big it is um, there's access to steering and other bits behind there storage up there there are plugs and usb charging and red light if you need it off on and then you have these lockers that run down the side so plenty of storage, plenty of practical places to put all your stuff. Nice hanging cupboard. And this would be your VIP cabin. So from here, we actually have direct access to the heads. It is a wet heads, but it is what it is. Jabsco electric freshwater flush toilet. You know, it's hot cold water tap. Got, you know, mirror cupboards and then there is your shower if we come down the companion way if our cabin door shut you'd have access through here i reckon there's room so if you could if you see between the two doors you have this section here if you wanted to and you weren't using this door if it was me i'd actually put a perspex a uh, folding perspex thing or a shower curtain to go across so you could actually block that section off and use it as a separate shower but you know it's just me and then this side you have access to mechanical department it'll be the same in the starboard ca cabin as you can see you got fisher panda generator there and then your yamaha lump is underneath 
come out of here and then if your cabin was shut you'd have access here you have a twin cabin so really good for the kids so if you've had an argument for the missus um i'm gonna get in so much trouble when i get home once again this is mirroring port side so you have ventilation into the cockpit up here and then further up here you know it's i'm sorry it's been a very very long week six days now and i've had average 15 20 meetings a day and once again as you can see there is access aft i really like this cabin you draw in the middle access to mechanical departments and services along here and we had a look in the other cabin so you can see that these are good size i'm sat on the i quite like it with the twins like this so you get you know two singles i'm sat down i've got loads of room to move around and you know if you are underway or whatever change your clothes it's just really nice i come out of here and then there is a storage pantry area there are a load of options we're going to go through some of them some of the pictures will come up so you have your vip cabin so you would have access to the heads and the shower you have your pantry area so you could have another heads another shower here i think if you were going blue water cruising this is a perfect place to put a washing machine a freezer spare parts all that sort of stuff because really you don't need three heads and all that sort of stuff if you were going to charter this boat you'd want extra heads and showers or if it was me personally i would have a head and i would have a shower and an area still enough for washing machine hanging up your wet gear and stuff like that but it's a really nice space you know it's an attempt of a workbench and stuff like that it's good the you know but you can see how things are optioned out so you have the grooves in the the moldings and there are two opening hatches here it can be set as a heads on a toilet it's good they're making an effort i um, really like it and the doors very heavy good to close and then have a large u-shaped saloon you can see that the puffer chair actually slides out to give you more seating and this one's been optioned out with a drop down table so you can turn this into a large day bed if you want vents for heating and air conditioning and there is storage over there and then just you have one two three four overhead lockers there and then we'll come over to the port side. I'm sorry this is rushed, but there's a load of people wanting to get on. It's been like this all week. It's good for the boat manufacturers, but disappointing for us. Access to services underneath here. It's nice to see a workstation nav area. So it's pretty cool. And then B&G chart plotter, VHF radio, the lamp, go to red light and then your you know light switch is not i hold it on there for you for a minute zoom in and you can read your panda generator control fusion stereo just unpop it open it up good fiddles on the corian worktop and you have a grab handle which is very cool it's nice that it's not a standard inline linear galley that you do actually have a good shape and I don't have to say anything, you guys get it. You know, they're in line. They're in line. I know, I'm really anal. But hey, fridge, fridge, freezer. And then you actually have the option for a freezer if you want, or a cool box up here. I think it's really cool. This one's been optioned out with a microwave. We have a couple of extra um, overhead lockers here and just above your three gimbaled gas burner stove there is a opening hatch and I should imagine yeah, it's the emergency gas shut off is down here there's one out by your gas bottle bin storage
More storage under the sink. Dishwasher. It's a nice option to have. And then single stainless steel sink, but you can either set it up so you have your Corian top all the way over to give you extra work top, or the way they're showing it on here, it's quite cool. You flip it over and it has actually got a built-in bamboo chopping block, and then you've got a drain um, on the side. Hot and cold fresh water. It's nice that they've put a splash back so you're not getting stuff on you. It feels like a soft, soft suede on there. But actually, even with that, I'd be a little bit worried, but it's nice. And then more storage down here. I do apologise if it's rushed. I'm doing my best for you guys. Here in the saloon, those are those two guy lights and then the forward and aft facing hatches. And you have mosquito netting or privacy blinds, depending on, you know, and all the hatches have them. So even up here for the big skylights, all there. And there is a grab handle, stitched leather on it all the way forward, mask compression post, and most importantly, next to it, somewhere for all your bottles. So I'll give you a quick pan out and then we'll move on to owner's cabin. There. And then last but not least, your owner's suite. You have a large semi-island uh, king size bed, which is nice. You can see there's that soft leather on the walls there again and on the bed head. Two opening hatches up above. And if you see the molding line, some of it's covered by this um, liner, but you can actually have this as two single cabins either side. You know, if you're putting your boat into charter or you've got a lot of children. Port light windows. There's some nice LED light options in here. I'm going to start over here on the starboard side. Have a hanging locker. And then the owner's heads. So freshwater electric heads sink people always say i go on about storage but i will say one thing opening hatch you know you can answer it if you want me you know someone's phoning you So anyway, owner's heads, and I'll have to cut this because of copyright. There's a lot of storage. It's good for an owner's cabin, you know, 46 foot. It's not bad. And then over on the port side, there is another hanging locker. And then your separate shower. So that's handy. There's a really nice seat to sit on that actually flips up. Cupboards behind for putting your stuff in if you want. Um, an area for your shampoos and everything else. And it does have an opening hatch up there for ventilation and steam. So very, very light boat. It's really nice. Well, this is my last one. They want me to go around Solaris, but I think this is it. I'm finishing the show now. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, there are plenty of options for this boat. Actually, before I go, I've forgotten one thing. We'll have a look at the mechanical department underneath the companionway. And then after that, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe. Thank you for coming along. Right, just under the companionway, there you can see your Panda generator, 
your Yamaha block underneath here. It's quite nice that it's an independent steel frame actually holding up your generator. Plenty of access to your filters and bits and pieces like that. Panel there comes out. This panel here comes out and there's some panels further back. Your C strainer is over there. So one of the panels I know you can get access to your cell drive, etc. Um, but not bad, not bad at all.